hey guys welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel in case you're new here hi my name is obosha and welcome to the slay squad so in this week's video i have for you guys a hair review from modern show hair and i'm just showing you guys a couple of things that you get inside your packaging when you purchase the hair so you get a pair of false eyelashes as long as with a card that shows you how to maintain the hair and of course you get your wig as well and the one thing that i noticed the wig was very well um packaged and i think that packaging really helps maintain the shape of the lace so right here i'm just showing you guys the construction of the wig on the inside as you can see it's not a full lace wig and it also comes with combs attached throughout the inside of the hair so the details of the hair is that this hair is a bob a 12 inch bob wig in the style in the color natural so the first thing that i do as usual is go into the foundation with into the wig with some foundation this just helps me conceal the knots of the hair so that i can skip the bleaching stage and also to help the lace match a bit more with my skin color so when i put the wig on my head as you can see the lace now matches my natural skin color a lot a lot better so next thing to do is to cut off the lace and as usual or rather as i have now started doing i just nip a bit of the lace with scissors and then i go in with this razor just to chop off um, the excess lace and i started using the razor because i noticed the scissors gives me such a defined straight lace line on my forehead and i really really hate that really really hate that so i noticed that using the razor at least helps me get in there and shape the lace the way my hairline goes now right here i had wiped off <laughs> the gel from my edges that's why you can see it's looking like i have tundengus <laughs> on my edges but uh, anyway so i'm applying the got to be freeze gel on the on my forehead so that i can attach the lace on there and actually the one thing that i've noticed is that this gel is very very messy like it gets all over i don't know if anyone has discovered a tip or trick to make this application process a lot easier because everyone else's videos i watch the gel just remains so perfectly in one position but mine is always like moving around everywhere but the good thing about the gel is that it really really secures the hair once the hair is on, it is not going anywhere. To remove, of course, you just spray some water and it comes off. So next up, I am tying this elastic band just to press the, um, the lace down and to ensure that it melts into my skin. And I leave that on for about five minutes and then I go ahead and take it off. And adding this step also, you know, using that elastic band that targets that area specifically alone i've noticed it helps it melt so so well so as you can see the wig is really perfect like i didn't really need to do any extra things to it i just glued it on and i was ready to go the only thing is that that top part i wasn't really happy that it wasn't laying flat flat on the top of my head so i'm trying to go in with some water to try and flatten it out a bit and then i also went in with um some heat i'm using my flat iron in a few right around now taking my flat iron and then just trying to flatten the hair a lot also especially at the top of my head just so that it can lie on my head and doesn't look like i have bumps on the inside of the wig Okay, so if we're being totally honest, I could have just left the hair after this step. Me adding mousse is again me trying to flatten that top part. And after I added the mousse, honestly, it was fine. Like the hair was doing good, but I had to go in and add another extra step. And you guys are about to see that. And I feel like that is where I sort of messed it up because over here you can see the hair looks like it has really nice volume but then i went in with the oil and like i usually say this oil like it can get really greasy if you apply a lot and as you can see 
I went ahead and applied a bit too much and the hair just got so weighed down. I think this is where I knew, oh my God, I messed up. Because even afterwards when I tried to go in with the flat iron, the hair wasn't even moving like it didn't have any motion it just stayed stiff right after i added that oil so yeah again if you do choose to purchase that silk oil put it in very 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 small amounts otherwise it will really really weigh your hair down i could have cut this part off but i chose to just keep it on so that i can show you guys that um what would happen if you put too much oil so yeah, and that is the final result with the hair. I'm actually really, really happy with it, especially with how natural the part at the front looks like. It has melted so seamlessly with my skin that oh, it's perfect. I love it. So that is it for this week's video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and if you're new to this channel, please subscribe down below for new videos every Mondays and Thursdays. Always remember to work hard and have good intentions. Until next time, bye guys!